So I'm going to be sharing some of my favorite items in the workshop that make my job so much easier along with Chris's job when he's helping me out. So yes. Now I want to let you know that these are items that we didn't just go out and buy all at once. We have accumulated them over time and we have upgraded from so-and-so to so-and-so to make things a little bit easier. So let me share with you what items I am absolutely now that I do this 24 seven, I really don't want to be without. Welcome back to the channel. It's Yvonne from Ginger Chick Rehab. I am so glad to have you back checking out what I am up to. So it is bright and early 7.30 a.m. here in Michigan and I am headed out to our shop to start working for the day. Yep, I start bright and early when it is cooler out here in Michigan. I'm going to be doing a shop tour actually of my favorite items that make our job working in the shop. Now Chris works a 40 hour week job and then comes home and helps me, but this is my full time job. I spend more time in our shop than I do in our own house. So let's start off our day by headed into the shop. Now remember you all, this is a usable shop. I spend a lot of hours in the day here. So we're gonna flip over to the thermostat. It's 7.30 in the morning and it is going on 80 degrees in here. Oh, so, yep, we're past the 70 mark and it's just going to be getting warmer. So I actually already had the garage doors open this morning because I was taking furniture items and put them in my car. We had a dresser cell in our booth, so I like to restock first thing when they open so I don't interfere with customer shopping. So yeah, I had to carry that out first thing on this human morning. So the first thing I'm going to share with you right off the bat, as you can see, I'm glistening from sweat is that we had a portable air conditioner that we used and it was a must in our shop. So we had had the air conditioner for a very long time. We'd bought it when our children did the 4-H fair and we had to be in a camper where you couldn't run your camper AC, but you could have a portable unit. Oh my gosh, because it ran off electricity. Anyway, long story short, when Alex moved out, he doesn't have any air in his house and it's an old house that they moved into. Still had storm windows on it, no screens. So we sent that off with him so he could have, uh, yeah, I mean, it gets hot in a house. So, so long story short is new air hooked us up with a new portable air conditioner along with the fans and other things that we use that we absolutely love from new air. A portable air conditioner is a must or I would not survive out here. Once it gets up to 80, your paint doesn't dry. I'm dripping sweat. <laughs> you know, it is, it is what it is. So yes, I'm going to unpack this, get this set up so we can do other shop tours of the other favorite items that make this easy out here. But for right now, we're going to set up this air conditioner bright and early. So this air conditioner also has a heater system with it. And a lot of times in Michigan winters, we need a secondary heat also. So if you are full time like me and need your space to be usable, I would say this is not a want, this is a need. It is an investment, it is worth the money to be able to work 24 seven when you need to. So now what this first piece is, this is gonna be your slide bar that goes into a window. So you have to have some way to vent this out. So it'll slide up into the wind, it'll slide into the window, but we'll, I'll show you that. This is the hose that connects into the window. Some more hose. It collects condensation, so you'll ha will have a hose for a pan that will collect condensation. Oh, I'm glad I did all that <laughs> work for it to be able to do that with it. <laughs> Once you did the straps. Okay, so we got that. So since I was already sweating to death, I'm going to do a voiceover to complete this. So it's pretty simple to set up. Um, it comes with the remote. I need batteries for the remote. 
And since I already had one, I know how to set them up, but it does come with a manual that tells you exactly how to set it up. So there's two connection hoses, as you see, so they will go out the window. So I need to attach them both to the back and then to the um, attachment that goes into the window. So we will get that done first. Okay, so now that we have it installed, and it is working just fine. Let's just go over a few little features if anybody is interested. Oh my gosh, this is this amazing system. So Chris is, Chris is my detailed person, so he's gonna go over the features for you. All right, first off, it comes with a handy dandy little remote. So if you've got it in your bedroom or whatever and you wanna turn it off or on, you can. It's got a power button. The same controls that are up here are on this. So does anybody else's husband love accessories? <laughs> like a remote just is, makes the whole machine. Anyway, <laughs> let's look at it. So on the top, on. it does have the power button. The shield opens and closes every time it turns on or off. It's got three different fan modes. That was low, medium, and high. Then you can set your temperature to whatever you want. Also, it has a display on the front showing you what the temperature is set for also. Then it's got four different modes. So this is the air conditioning mode. This is a dehumidifier mode, so it can be actually used as a dehumidifier also. Just a standard fan mode. And it does have a heat mode. So in the winter time, you can actually supplement your heat with this. But since it's summer, we'll keep it on cold. It's also got a timer. And you can set it up for one hour and just keep on going. I don't know how to stop it though. <laughs> but the must is you must have it ventilated. It must have an air source. So it's got to be by some type of window where it is drying in air. So, and then sealing it off like that. Now our other system we had um, just had one. An exhaust. One exhaust? Yes. <laughs> yes. So this so. has an intake, so it's bringing in fresh air and an exhaust, so it's pushing out the hot air. If you don't have these hooked up, you're kind of defeating the purpose because all you're doing is regenerating hot air back into your room. Um, so it does go through the same kind of thing as your typical air conditioner where it's got an A coil in there and it's going to sit there and cool the air as it passes through. So this is just the exhaust tubes for it. So now for the condensation, we just hooked up the hose and now we have a bucket just from the Dollar Tree store to collect any condensation that might be dripping out. So I'd like to thank today's sponsor of our video, which is New Air. And I will have this machine linked down below and they are offering a 10% discount for you all. So go check them out, see if this is something you're interested in. And also this will take you to their company where there's many other things like their fans, their refrigerators, anything you may want for your shop. So not that I want to start thinking about having to turn the heat on. This is our heating system. So we actually just purchased this off of Amazon. It is a Mr. Heater. It is actually hooked up to a propane tank. So let me come out the back. So then, yes, we do actually have, I don't know, what is this, 120 gallon propane tank? Um, and the neighbor's dogs are gonna come say hi. Um, 120 pound, whatever, um, propane tank that, yes, uh, probably two to three times in the winter we'll need to fill that so we can keep heat in the shop. So this is a must, just like the air conditioner to keep it cool. I also need a heater system to keep it warm in the winter. Some of the basic tools that you see me use here a lot on the channel are just regular old screwdrivers. You don't have to have a power tool, just a flathead, a Phillips, and you're good to go, but it is nice to have a power tool. And then it also is a good pair of nips to cut off, you know, hangers from wires, nails, staples, help, not only does it cut, but it also pulls. And then another thing is needle nose pliers. I had to think what they were called. Needle nose pliers, I do use a lot to hold 
nails or screws to help screw them in. I also twist my hanging system on whatever I'm putting on to hang on the wall, my wire, my 17 gauge wire that I use a lot. Another tool that um, comes in very handy if you do a lot of dressers, drawers, anything like that, and you want to change your knobs out is the Craig Jig and this is the one that um, you can put um, holes in, measure off where you need your knobs or your pulls to be. This one is awesome. Usually Chris uses it, I hear a lot on the channel, but I have used it just a wee bit and it is, it is a great thing to have. Like I said, if you were doing dressers or anything with knobs and you want to change them out to be able to center them, this is a wonderful tool also. Man on the phone says, um, Okay, so the next up of favorites are the Ryobi power tools, and I'm sure that you've seen that lime green 101 times also on our channel when we are making things over. So right from their drills, um, the investment is the batteries, and actually Amazon does have a few cheaper batteries because we're not sponsored by Ryobi, so we have to pay <laughs> for these ourselves, y'all. So yes, I love, it's a great size. It's, I can hold it, I can use it. It had, this is the impact driver. Let me look at Chris to make sure I'm saying that right. Impact driver, and then you've got your drill. And like I said, they are both, I can lift them up very easily along with the brad nailer. You know, when you're putting bread boxes together, which is one of the things I just recently, you know, anytime you need to um, tighten something back up, it's very easy to use. So I highly recommend the Ryobi. They're very cost efficient. Now, when it comes to the brad nails, there's lots of different sizes, so you need to make sure that you have multiple different sizes um, so you're not going through your piece of wood or through your object. Right down to a staple gun when I'm reupholstering. Love that. Love that I don't have to mess with a cord. And then my other ultimate is the glue gun. Now, at first, when Chris first bought me this because I said I needed to upgrade, I was a little intimidated by it because it is hot which is good, but it also, I learned over time that I just turn it on and off. I, as soon as it starts to run, the glue starts to run out of the top, I turn it off. It lasts six, seven, eight, ten minutes before I have to turn it back on. Like you can start to tell. So once I learned how to turn it on and off to control the temperature, wonderful. Now it is my favorite glue gun because I can always keep the glue flowing, keep it hot. It can it uses the big glue sticks, love that. So yes, the Ryobi handheld tools are one of my must, very cost efficient. So you all have seen me use this system 101 times now here on this channel. And what this is, is a Festool dust collector. So even though our shop, I, I don't know how those other YouTubers keep their shop so dust free, we have tried our best, but we use this daily, like I said, 24 seven. So this hooks up to the sanders for the fest tools. And so this has knocked down our dust in here, collecting all the sawdust and sanding dust and all that, I would say by at least 70%. Does it get all of it? No, it doesn't get all of it. But, so it has a hose, Chris is gonna show you. The hose hooks up to one of, we, we have now invested in the orbital sander and then the mouse sander. And both of them hook up to this vacuum system, which I absolutely love, especially when you're sanding. So it just hooks up right to that. And then it has a plug that it plugs in and then yes, so when you turn it on, this little button's always on, and then it, as soon as you turn the machine, the orbital sander on, the vacuum turns on. And then when you turn it off, it turns off. So 
It's an awesome system. My favorite tools along with the sanders. I absolutely love these sanders. So we invested in this one first, and then I, I like a mouse sander for that detail edging. And of course, there's always more that you would want, but for right now, that is what we've started off with. So uh, my last favorite and, oh my goodness, lifesaver, and I actually just had to upgrade well, now that I upgraded, I had to buy a new one because I've used my other one a lot and I think I finally, it finally has wore out is my Graco True Coat 360 handheld sprayer. Now, I could not mass produce all the items that we do to resell without this. I Now, we always had the bigger one, but I really couldn't control that. It was too much, but the handheld one, I tell you, I absolutely love this. And I get lots of questions, do I clean it every time? Now, I will have to admit that sometimes over days when you're working on multiple projects, I don't necessarily clean it, but I highly recommend as soon as you're done with those projects, get that clean. Do not let that paint sit in there. Maybe if you use chalk paint all the time, but I don't necessarily use chalk paint all the time, you know. So you don't want that paint drying in there, causing any problems. These are an investment, so I treat it like an investment by cleaning it every time. So that, I know a lot of people ask me if I, you know, I have a couple and keep painting it. No, I do not. So yes, that is one of my, I'm so glad to not have to paint everything by hand with this. So another thing you don't think about in your shop, but when you're in your shop, you do. So we actually have two new air fans. So one on this side of the and shop, then one all the way over on the other side of the shop to keep air circulating. So on this fan is actually plugged into this outlet. And if you see, there's a little attachment right there, that white attachment, what that is, is hold up. It is this little on off. Sorry, we, we work in our shop, y'all. This is not rigged in, it's just set on there. It is a little on off button that controls the outlet that turns the fan on, which is wonderful. So as high up as that one is. Oh yes, this is my staging area where I show you all the finished products. So if I would have the cord with the chain would be long enough to be down so I could pull it, you'd see the chain all the time. So yes, that little box on the outlet, it's wireless, it's controlled. Like I said, you just screw that into the wall down there to turn it on and off. It's just like the little things like a plug-in like that just that just makes your life so much easier. So again, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, New Air, for their portable air conditioner so that we can keep working in our workshop all season long. Yet again, I'll have the link for the air conditioner itself, along with a 10% discount that they're offering. And then along, check out all their other amazing products. We love their fans, their heaters, their refrigerators. I can't say enough about it. Yes, I spend more time in the workshop making over secondhand finds than I do in my own house. And somehow, somehow the house gets dirty. I'm not really sure how that works. But anyway, again, thank you for watching my favorite things that make my job and Chris's job here in the workshop of flipping the secondhand finds easier. Yep, they are an investment, starting off with your basic tools to investing in something more than a paintbrush. So give me a quick comment down below. Which one of the items were your favorite? Which ones do you already have? Which ones are you saving up just like we did with the Festool products, saved our pennies to be able to afford a dust collection and sanders like that. So anyway, again, I'll have everything linked down below. A lot of the tools are, will be in my Amazon store. So go check those out if you're curious on the pricing of them. So again, thanks again for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this type of video. I know it's not our average type of video, but I do get questions all the time on the tools, on my favorite, what do I use? How do I use it? How do, you know, the whole everything. And I try to answer as many comments back as I possibly can. So I hope that I have helped you out in your workshop. I hope I've geared you towards 
um, investing in certain types of products that yes, I can handle them. Chris can handle them. Yes, since we share tools, I want tools that he can use and then I can use. And I absolutely love being able to have air conditioning in our shop, have heat in our shop. And we started off all like you all. I started off in a craft room and then moved to a garage. And then finally we're able to build a workshop. So don't y'all think that we just started off in a workshop. So anyway, thanks again for watching today's video guys. And as always, if you're part of our YouTube family, thank you so so much and if you're new and you're checking out this content for the first time and you liked what you saw please hit that subscription button along with the notification bell so you know when we've uploaded a new video and we will see you next time guys and you can see what we're up to